Today, I would like to tell you about Fluence. Fluence is a psychedelic education company, and our primary objective, the thing that we really care about, is training therapists and mental health professionals in psychedelic therapies. Primarily, right now, we're focusing on psychedelic integration. In the future, we plan to train professionals in psychedelic assisted therapies. Psychedelic integration therapy is something that can be seen as a part of psychedelic assisted therapy, but that can also be practiced outside of psychedelic assisted therapy. So psychedelic assisted therapy, as it's presented in the clinical trials, involves a series of psychotherapy sessions, including three stages. Some of these sessions are preparatory sessions, where patients come in and engage in psychological preparation for the psychedelic session. Those can include things like psychoeducation and what to expect during the session. And they can also include things like eliciting the patient's values and determining what their intention for the session is. Psychedelic assisted therapy includes actual psychedelic sessions where people receive the psychedelic medicine in the company of the therapists. This is different from psychedelic integration therapy. We formed Fluence a year ago, and we've been active in training in psychedelic integration therapy for several years longer than that. Psychedelic integration therapy is working with people who have a relationship with psychedelics. As a provider or a therapist, we don't actually give the psychedelic, but we are still there prior to the psychedelic experience or after to help. We formed Fluence because we recognize that there are many people who are having psychedelic experiences who don't have a therapist or mental health provider to turn to. Psychedelic integration, of course, then is part of the psychedelic assisted therapy process, but it can also take place on its own in a psychotherapist's office when someone has had a psychedelic experience outside of that therapeutic relationship. So for instance, if someone has had an experience with psychedelics in a festival setting or in a ceremonial setting or perhaps in a shamanic setting or at a retreat center, they may choose to engage in psychedelic integration in their therapist's office separate from that experience, but in a way that is aligned with that experience and designed to be helpful for integrating that experience into the rest of their treatment and into long-term meaningful change in their life. For example, a client might come to your office and say, I'm thinking about having a psychedelic experience, but I'm not sure if it's right for me. I'm afraid that I might go crazy or I may get stuck in that state. So at Fluence, we help providers respond to these questions and concerns, as well as help therapists with their own anxiety that they might be feeling when working with such a client who's asking such questions. Our primary way of responding is by providing information to help the client make a well-informed decision for themselves about the next step they might want to take. Another way that psychedelic integration therapy can be useful is in sustaining the positive benefits of a psychedelic experience. We know that, for instance, with ketamine, there is a window of neuroplasticity um, following a psychedelic session, following that acute experience, and that the more people attempt to engage in creating new positive habits during that window of neuroplasticity, the more they are taking advantage of that opportunity. So an integration therapist can be useful in helping someone to plan and really optimize the potential for benefit that comes with that window of opportunity. Psychedelic integration therapy includes a variety of therapeutic tasks. These tasks can vary depending on what the patient's individual unique goals and situation are. Uh, they can vary depending on the patient's needs and the psychotherapist's focus and what the dyad chooses to focus on. One of the key tasks that we always start talking about is engaging in balanced, research-informed decision-making about psychedelic use. 
So a psychedelic integration therapist can work with people to make decisions that are taking into account both the existing research and also the limitations of the existing research. For instance, if someone is making a decision about whether or not to use a psychedelic, they may be looking to some of the clinical research literature to help inform that decision. And that literature may have limitations on how relevant it is to the particular set and setting that the patient is attempting to make a decision about engaging in the psychedelic use in. So we really want to work with people to help them understand the literature and also the limitations of that research that's out there now. You may know that there are many ketamine infusion clinics in the United States. Many of these ketamine clinics do not attend to the psychological or subjective experience of the ketamine infusion. At Fluence, we offer training in how therapists can collaborate with ketamine clinics and provide psychotherapeutic support to help prepare a person go through a ketamine experience and, importantly, sustain the benefits afterwards. These are just some of the examples of how psychedelic integration can be helpful to clients. It can also include engaging in balanced, informed decision-making about whether or not pursuing a clinical trial is an appropriate path, or whether or not other non-drug alternative methods for engaging in alternative states of consciousness work could be an appropriate decision. So that includes a really wide variety of things. It can also include psychological preparation for a psychedelic experience. So things like intention setting, eliciting values, um, deciding when and where and what would be the most appropriate setting for a psychedelic experience could all be part of working with a psychedelic integration therapist. A psychedelic integration therapist being a licensed clinician can also collaborate care with a patient's other providers. And that might include the provider of a ketamine session. It also might include coordination of care with other doctors, with a psychiatrist, um, and maybe with other people that are involved in the patient's life. Um, sometimes we see people who have a fairly complex history and a number of providers that are working with them to help, to help coordinate their treatment and a clinician who is trained in psychedelic integration can also liaison and help coordinate care between multiple providers.